5 factorial is defined to be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So let's play a game. What is 3 factorial? Well, that's 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. Now, what about 2 factorial? Well, that's 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, let me give you something easy. What is 1 half factorial? Got you there, did I not? Unless you said square root of pi over 2, in which case, you're right. But why? We want to extend the factorial function so it covers 1 half. And to do so, we need a function that looks like this, or like this. Gamma function. Now, function is just a machine. You plug in a value into the function, such as 5, and you're going to get a value out of it, such as 10. So in this case, our function may be times 2, because we plugged in 5 and got 10. So, what about the gamma function? Using some calculus and integration by parts, we can figure out what gamma function is going to do to our input value. And it turns out if you plug n into gamma function, you're going to get n minus 1 factorial out of it. So if you plug in 2, you're going to get 1 factorial. If you plug in 5, you're going to get 4 factorial. So if you plug in 3 halves to gamma function, you get 1 half factorial. So let's do that. Plugging 3 halves into gamma function and doing some calculus gets us square root of pi over 2. So 1 half factorial is square root of pi over 2. Awesome. So we can use gamma function to find factorial, but does it have any real life applications? And it turns out the answer is yes, chi squared distribution. As you can see, chi-squared distribution is defined using gamma function. But what is chi-squared distribution used for? And it turns out the answer is many, many things. And one of them is testing for goodness of fit. How observed value fit what you expect. Chi-squared distribution can help you test whether this coin is a fair coin, whether the heads and tails show up in 50% 50% ratio as you expect. It can also be used to test for independence. If you ask a question, is black a color, you're going to get different responses from male and female. If you want to know whether the response is independent of gender, you can use chi-squared distribution test for independence. Let's review. We started with 1 half factorial, we went to gamma function to find it, and we looked at its applications. Perhaps this is another insight on the innate elegance of mathematics, its ability to interconnect simplicity and complexity, and theoretical assumptions and real-life applications. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did.